In this paper, we consider the problem of creating and controlling volume deformations used to articulate characters for use in high-end applications such as computer-generated feature films. We introduce a method we call harmonic coordinates that significantly improves upon existing volume deformation techniques. The articulation of characters like the one shown here is currently accomplished using a combination of methods one of the most important being volume deformation. Freeform deformations, as introduced by Cedarberg and Perry, was one of the first volume deformation methods. FFDs have been used extensively in high-end articulation. FFDs are controlled by regular cubical lattices. A main advantage of FFDs is their intuitive behavior. The main disadvantage is that cubical lattices are topologically inflexible, leading to a number of problems. First, they contain interior vertices that must be articulated. Second, to fit a character with arms and legs, multiple overlapping lattices must be used, and care must be taken to ensure that the motion in the region of overlap remains smooth. A topologically much more flexible method, called mean value coordinates, was introduced in SIGGRAPH 2005 by Zhu et al. Mean value coordinates allow the deformation to be controlled by an arbitrary triangular mesh. Here's an example where we fit a triangular mesh called the cage to a character. The cage consists of 100 vertices, and the character mesh contains approximately 5,000 vertices. We call these the object points. Deforming the character using mean value coordinates produces pleasing results when the limbs are separated, as shown here. However, in strongly concave regions, like the legs, mean value coordinates produce undesirable motion, as we see here. Notice that the motion of the cage points for the leg on the left strongly influence the object points of the leg on the right. This occurs because mean value coordinates are based on straight line distance. Since the straight line distance between the legs is small, the influence is large. Notice too that the object points move counter to the cage points. This occurs because mean value coordinates can be negative. As explained in the paper, our new method, called harmonic coordinates, uses Laplace's equation to create deformations based on distances measured within the cage. Moreover, the coordinates are guaranteed to be positive, thus eliminating counter motion. These properties lead to much more pleasing results in strongly concave situations. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the two methods. Another advantage of harmonic coordinates over mean value coordinates is that the behavior of the deformation in the interior of the cage can be more precisely controlled. As a demonstration, consider the deformation of just a part of a character, the region around an eye in this case. The first step is to position the cage, which in this case is a triangulated sphere shown here in red. Harmonic coordinates are then computed for all object points within the cage. As the cage is moved, the surface deforms. Notice that since this deformation affects only a subset of the points, the character's skin near the boundary of the deformation develops creases in extreme poses. The next step is therefore to smooth out the creases using a facility similar to cluster weighting in Maya. Proper weighting leads to significantly smoother results. So far in this example, the deformations produced by mean value coordinates and harmonic coordinates would be very similar. However, suppose that we wish to keep the pupil round as the geometry around it deforms. That is, we desire a deformation that looks like this. As shown in the paper, harmonic coordinates allow the cage to be optionally augmented with interior vertices, edges, and faces to control the interior behavior of the deformation. In this situation, it's convenient to augment the cage with a second triangulated sphere, shown here in green, that surrounds the pupil. Keeping this second sphere fixed as the surrounding cage deforms produces the desired effect simply and easily. It is also possible to animate the object within the cage prior to applying the deformation. 
we refer to this as dynamic binding. As an example, suppose we wish to twist the character's arm prior to deforming the arm, as shown here. Dynamic binding allows us to animate both the twist and the deformation at real-time rates. See the paper for details. As a final example, here's a test character articulated using harmonic coordinates. The cage consists of approximately 300 vertices, whereas the character mesh contains over 9,000 points. In summary, we've presented a new volume deformation method called harmonic coordinates that significantly improves on existing volume deformations. Advantages of the method include, it is topologically flexible, it possesses interior locality, that is, influences fall off with distance as measured within the cage, it eliminates counter deformation, and finally, it allows for optional interior vertices, edges, and faces to be added for additional control when desired. Together, these features make harmonic coordinates a powerful new technique for the articulation of high-quality characters.